Steve Cohen was one of the most famous hedge fund managers in the world. He started his hedge fund SAC Capital in 1992 and very quickly became enormously successful, multi-billionaire. When you talk to traders about SAC and what the appeal was of working there, because a lot of people did want to work there, uh, the number one reason people cited usually was the enormous potential to make a lot of money really quickly. He was in fact investigated briefly by the SEC in the 1980s and the SEC case kind of fizzled out but my sense was that he did learn that it's really important to be very careful and to stay on the right side of the line I think he became much more cautious after that the feds decide they're gonna go after Cohen they charged one sort of current and then one former portfolio managers who were had worked directly for Steve I think they had a lot of hope that one of those people would flip and cooperate and testify against Steve. That did not happen. Steve Cohen's lawyers went down to meet with Preet Bharara, who's the U.S. attorney in Manhattan, who's leading the case, and they made a big presentation for the government. Basically, their goal was to convince the government that they could not win at trial. They would lose. It would be humiliating. And they made this four-hour presentation. They gave out these binders to everyone in the room. And they essentially said, listen, you just don't have any witnesses who will testify against him. You don't have any wiretaps that show that he knew he was trading on inside information. You kind of have nothing. You spent years like killing yourselves to get this case and you just don't have it. So they decided instead that they were gonna charge SAC Capital, which is Cohen's fund, instead of him. And uh, extracted almost $2 billion in fines from SAC uh, in total. And um, at the end of the day, Steve Cohen was able to uh, basically go on with his life as it had been before. I mean, the $2 billion did not even make a dent in his lifestyle. He was forced to shut SAC Capital down. But uh, incredibly, he still had $10 billion fortune and he was able to just manage that money in a private family office because the government, no matter what, they cannot stop you from trading your own money. So he still had an enormous amount of money, still one of the wealthiest people in the world. He will be free to reopen his hedge fund in 2018 based on the terms of his settlement.